Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with the lip balm haul. It's been a while. I think my last one was around December and in case you're new to my channel, basically I love lip balm. I collect it. It's just a hobby for me and I really, I love my lip balm. I collect it. I love trying all different kinds of it and I like to do hauls every now and then of like newer release lip balms and I finally found everything that was on my list because what I do is I make a list of different lip balms I want to try and then I wait to till I find all of them until I haul them. So that's why this today's lip balm haul is going to be a big one because I have been looking for months for some of these lip balms and I finally got them all. So yeah, this is my little lip balm like box here. I just have like a bunch of them. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to start off here with these ones from CoverGirl. They are the Lip Slick Smoochies SPF 15 lip balms. And I think there's only three cents. I only found three anyway. So as you can see, they have really cute packaging. I was just excited to try them. That one's called Called pink punch this one is midnight melon I love the black on this one and this one is called floral reflection I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it if it's floral scented I don't know but I just got them all to try out I found them at CVS I think they're like three or four bucks each so not too bad this is the chapstick tropical paradise collection I actually bought these two in singles they're only a dollar each this was three bucks at Walgreens I could not find the watermelon one anywhere I don't know why it was so hard to find but I finally just caved and bought the three pack because because I was like, I need to try this watermelon. A lot of you told me that it's really good back when I did my chapstick collection video. I have a whole collection video on just my chapstick brands. And a lot of you said that you love this collection. It's so good. And I have these two and I've opened them already and they are really good. I'm a huge, huge fan of chapstick brand. I did a whole collection video just on my chapstick brand lip balms. And a lot of you said that you were so excited for this collection and how worth it it was. So I'm excited to dig into it. I also have some new Revos. These have been out for a while actually, but most people haven't heard of them yet. I found these at CBS. I think they were on sale at the time for like $1.50 each, and I really like these scents. This is Blueberry. I've already talked about this one in a favorites video a while back. The scent on this one is so good. It smells like blueberry candy or like a fresh blueberry pie. It's really sweet. This one is actually Strawberry, and I do have other Strawberry Revos. You can get the mini Revo in the Strawberry scent if you don't want to commit to like the full size. This one says it's pomegranate, but to me it really smells like pixie sticks which I love it just like brings me back to childhood smelling this and it's awesome I really enjoy Revo lip balms I did a whole Revo lip balm collection video if you're interested so I will link that down below but you guys know me like I am crazy about Revos they're super moisturizing and they're always coming out with really fun scents I also found this Revo at CVS this is the honey scent but it is more of like a mint and honey I have the original mint if you guys are familiar with this peppermint one it's pretty much the same packaging this one one's a little darker and it is a lot sweeter. It does have like a little bit of a hint of honey but it's not just straight honey. So just wanted to mention that. I know a few of you have told me you got this one and you didn't like it because it wasn't as honey as you thought it would be but I enjoy it. I like mint so I have to say I really like it. I have a soft lips balm. I'm so excited to talk about this because it is strawberry and I did a review on all the other flavors they had a while back. I love the soft lips cubes. These are so moisturizing but they don't feel like lip balm. So anybody who is just not a fan of like heavy lip balms or waxy lip balms you guys should try this because it is so awesome the reason why I'm so excited about this one is because I could not find strawberry for the life of me I couldn't find this flavor anywhere and I actually won this on Twitter in a contest next up is a brand that I actually haven't tried before it's Blamtastic I'm not sure if you guys have ever found these or heard of them uh, my mom actually found these for me at the Dollar Tree but I've also seen them at Walmart and they run for like anywhere from three to five dollars at Walmart Walmart, so I'm pretty excited to try these out because I've heard a lot about them. This one is their Day Naturals Lip Therapy. It says it soothes, hydrates, and energizes. It has a pure botanical formula made in the USA. I really, I've never tried this. It has SPF 15 too. This one's for guys, but I really wanted to try it anyway because the flavor is blue raspberry. And this one is also SPF 15, petroleum free, and paraben free. This one is Night Naturals. It says it has a relaxing scent, so I'm not sure what that's going to be like, but I'm really excited. Comment down below if you guys have tried Blamtastic before because I'm really curious. And this one is Are You Sugar and Spice Blamtastic Lemonlicious. Here is lemon scented. This is Lemonlicious flavor and it's also SPF 15 paraben free. So yeah, I'm really excited about Blamtastic. I've heard a lot about Blamtastic lip balm. Of course, I have some baby lips here because what would a lip balm haul be without some baby lips, right? So I found these two scents and they're both limited edition. I haven't heard anybody talk about these. They're from their Celebrating 100 Years collection. 
collection they have a bunch of products in it and they had some baby lips and they have this special limited edition packaging it comes in the black tube with like the city on it they had like a few shades in the line but i think these two were the only new ones i'm not sure exactly but i found these at walmart they were like 250 each and this one is called Ra Ra red haven't opened it yet and then this is fuchsia fix it looks like a nice light pink kind of color maybe a little purpley but i'm so excited to try these i've been waiting to open them another release i was really excited about from the drugstore are these rimmel keep calm lip balms i believe these came out like at least a year ago in england those of you who are over in england are like these are not new but to us in the states they are new i was so so excited that these finally came over because when i first saw them from like all the english bloggers i follow i was so envious i was like oh my gosh i need to try that so I got the whole collection you guys I was just like yes girl I need to try these so they were two for five right now at Walmart so make sure you check your local Walmarts if you guys have been looking for these because that's the only place I can seem to find them right now but anyway can we just appreciate this packaging because look at how gorgeous they are I'm so excited they're kind of shaped like little lipsticks which is just adorable so these claim to moisturize and hydrate I'm not sure how tinted the colorful ones are this one looks like it's just a clear one and this is keep come and shop it has a little shoe and a purse on it i am so excited i'm gonna do a full review on these so don't worry this one is keep calm and love i love the packaging on that and then we have keep calm and rock i love this one this one's so cool and then this is keep calm and lip balm how cute is that keep calm and lip balm i want that like on a shirt or something i love that this one says keep calm and party it's so cute this hot pink one is keep calm and kiss and last but not least here i have keep calm and play it's like a really pretty kind of reddish coral color. I have some Chap Ice lip balms. These are made by Aura Labs who also makes Revo and I've never tried Chap Ice before. It's the same people who make Revo so I'm assuming it's an awesome formula and these were sent to me by Anita, my lovely subscriber. She was so cool and so awesome just to think of me and send me these. I was just beyond excited because I don't have Chap Ice near me even though Revo is the same thing. I've never actually seen the Chap Ice brand before so this one is just moisturizing. It's SPF 15. I haven't tried these yet, but I'm excited. And thanks again, Anita. I'm, I was so excited. You don't even know when I like saw these in the package. This one is cherry. Then we have watermelon. I'm so excited for that one. This is original. Not sure what that probably smells like chapstick original. And then this one is blue raspberry. Oh my god. I have to open this right now because I can't. Oh my gosh. It smells like a baby bottle pop, you guys. It smells so good. Thank you so much, Anita. I'm so excited for this. I don't even know. Like, you guys don't even know. Okay, I'll try to contain my excitement here. I have some more chap ice. I have some more chap ice. I found these at Dollar Tree. I can never find the sticks, but I came across these. They're just little petroleum jelly lip treatments. It's basically like a version, like a different brand's version of the Vaseline lip therapies, which I love. So I have original here, which is just plain, and then this is cocoa butter scent. Next up, I have some hurrah lip balms. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this brand but in case you haven't I found mine at American Apparel it's a clothing store you can find them all over Southern California I'm not sure for the rest of the states but I know California has like a ton of American apparels these are premium organic vegan and made with raw ingredients and they're also cruelty free they are a little bit pricey they run about four dollars each at American Apparel so they can be kind of hard to find as well but if you can get your hands on them I definitely recommend them they have such a smooth formula you guys and there's so many scents that they have too these these are just a few of them but my favorite one is the coconut it just reminds me of summer when I open it up like I could smell it from here it is so strong so it might not be for everybody because they really are heavily fragranced but they do work very well they are very moisturizing a couple other scents I want to mention this one is black cherry and it is tinted in case you want tinted they also have a couple of other tinted ones to choose from this one is chai spice amazing this really smells like a chai latte it's so good it's ridiculous and then I also have almond here I can't wait to try more of these because they are so delicious they really are amazing so if you can get them highly recommend I get asked a lot about hurrah and I have to say they are really good I have a little Sephora set here I got this for five bucks it was right at the checkout where they carry all those really cute mini products this is their Sephora super smoothing lip butter I'm sorry there's like a big lawnmower outside anyway this is their super smoothing lip butter it comes in this little tin so here's what it looks like it doesn't have any color to it I like it it is very 
very moisturizing but I always find myself using sticks over pots just because I never I hate like reaching in and you know when I'm on the go I don't really use tins that much but I do like the formula this one however is awesome I really like the shape of it I've already used it a few times it used to be a little more pointy but I have been using it for a while and this is their super nourishing balm and I like this better because it comes in a stick and this is it just has a light scent I mean it's very light it smells kind of like vanilla next up I have a little bit of higher end lip balms these ones weren't at the drugstore they were at Sephora so this is Tokyo Milk Dark and this is cherry bourbon scented I talked about this in my top five underrated lip balms like top five I talked about like different flavors and things brands I felt like not a lot of people mention and this is one of them I love this scent it smells so good you guys it's like a deep it's like a spicy cherry that's the best way I could describe it it's in a tin so it's not my favorite format but I kind of like kind of look past that because the scent on this is so awesome and it's just clear there's nothing like tinted about this but I really like it and you can get these on Sephora's website they have I think they have a caramel one a lot of you told me I need to try this one is from my friend Victoria Donelda here on YouTube she sent me this and I've never tried Kiehl's before so I was super excited for this one and this is the Kiehl's lip balm number one petroleum skin protectant I really like it it is very thick it is petroleum base but I do feel like it does a good job at like actually healing cracked lips if you have very trapped lips you might want to give this a try it doesn't really have a scent or anything it's just kind of plain but I do really like it and thank you so much Victoria because I never tried Kiehl's before I also have um, Jack Black lip balm I have to say I didn't like this one before anyone freaks out on me it's because it doesn't smell very good this is in the scent natural mint it's SPF 25 and it comes in this little tube it kind of reminds me of like Bath and Body Works lip balms they have a couple of CO Bigelow I think is what they're called at Bath and Body Works and uh, yeah so I gave this a try and it wasn't cheap either it was like eight or nine bucks maybe even ten bucks I don't remember I've had it for a while but I have to say it smells weird it smells like a bandage like you know bandages that you like wrap your arms with it smells so it just is very strange so maybe I got a bad tube or something but it was brand new when I bought it I, I got this at Sephora and I was just really unimpressed I felt like it was not very moisturizing either so definitely would wouldn't recommend this based off of my experience it was just okay these are from chapstick they're the total hydration lip balms I absolutely love these and I showed you guys the lemon one in a haul a while back and I loved it so much that I went ahead and I got the other two flavors they have which is soothing oasis this is just a plain one this actually has no scent um, when I first bought it, I was like what is that gonna smell like I was all interested but it just turned out to be a plain one and then this one is sweet peach it smells like peach iced tea it's really good and Cassie from thrift thick here on YouTube YouTube talks about this she like raved about it so much so I bought this because of her and I'm so happy I did because it's awesome and I did a whole review on those so I will link it down below in case you haven't seen it but long story short they're really hydrating and super silky I love them and then I have Blistex here this is the simple and sensitive it's just fragrance free lip balm and then this one right here is raspberry lemonade blast with SPF 15 and it smells so refreshing you guys it, this is like summer in a chapstick I love it last but not least here these are also all from forever 21 i think they were like three dollars each so a little bit pricey but the packaging you guys is so adorable if you're a lip balm collector like me like it's hard to resist these because they're so cute they look like little macarons and they smell like vanilla they all look like this is the yellow one i have the pink one lavender and mint and they're just so adorable and they do let me open it up so you guys can see just twist them open like that but they are just clear and they aren't very moisturizing i mean i'm not gonna lie they're not the best lip balm formula but it's not bad either and the packaging is just adorable I can't even do it with this packaging it's just so cute these ones I also bought for the packaging because they remind me of strawberry shortcake which I loved when I was little and they are um, a little bit tinted this one has a tiny bit of a pink color and then this one is actually tinted like a nice little red lip balm I saved the best for last here with the burger and fries lip balms I just thought these were so adorable you guys and they're actually vanilla scented which is kind of funny because at first when I bought them I was like are they gonna smell like actual like burgers it's french fry shaped how cute is that you just kind of pop it open and this has like a nice little strawberry lip gloss inside it smells so good it is a little tinted and it does have a little bit of glitter and on this burger one you just kind of flip up the bun and it has like the smallest amount of lip balm it's just clear it smells like vanilla but I mean I really just bought it because of how adorable it is and it's so cute I just thought these were so adorable and that's pretty much it for my lip balm haul I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for requesting it I know a lot of you were like thinking I was never gonna do one again but I 
promise you, I just like to wait until I find every lip balm that I'm actually looking for because I do look for specific ones. Um, I usually just end up picking ones like this up along the way because I find them. I think they're cute, but most of the time I actually have like a list of lip balms I'm actually looking for to try out, to review on my channel, and I, like I said, I collect lip balm. I'm always looking for new and exciting lip balms, so I would love to hear from you guys in the comments, like if you have something you think I would like to try or just let me know about your favorite lip balm. Okay, so that's it for today's video, but if you want to see my past lip balm hauls, I will link my playlist down below in the description. I have a whole playlist of all of the lip balm hauls I've ever done on my channel. Make sure to check the description because I will link down below all my past lip balm videos for you guys. I can't wait to hear from you all, and as always, thank you so much for watching.